my um, little wood burning stove for the garage made out of a Freon can and um, uh, auto parts. Uh, the uh, Yeah, the base, as you can see, is a brake drum off the Festiva. The uh, chimney is, well, it's partially, partially, it's like exhaust pipe tubing, except uh, it's not, it's fence, fence post tubing. And then it insulated as it goes up, keep the creosote from building up. And it goes up to a six inch uh, glue off the roof. Uh, has a disc, steel disc there, uh, centering the, the two inch pipe and the six inch pipe. And the two inch pipe runs all the way up um, above the groove uh, to keep the, the six inch from getting very hot. In fact, if I've been up there and felt it when it's burning pretty good. I insulated, I, I first put it in without insulating the, the uh, glue. And uh, the insulation really helps a lot. It makes it draw much better. So you shouldn't, they say you shouldn't be stingy about that. Just go ahead and insulate it and try not to suck all the heat possible out because it does make it draw better. And it make, makes it less likely for uh, creosote to condense on the inside of the pipe. If I had it to do over again, I'd make the uh, blue pipe larger diameter. Um, that's uh, one and seven eighths outside, which I guess makes it one and three quarters inside. And it's really not big enough because when you, uh, when you open the door of the stove, some of the smoke wants to come out the door, which is a little, a little annoying. But when the door is shut, it does fine. There's no smoke coming into the, into the room. But definitely needs to be larger diameter if it's to be done again. I like it. It does a good job of uh, heating the garage.